Okay, and this is a scrap. We can go over there. So, let's see, where are we? Now I can use my cutting board. And pray that it works. It's not guaranteed. So, this is the height of the book. And then the width of the book. This is the width and this is the height. So this needs to be 23 on one of these. So let's see. Oh, sorry. 23 from one of the sides. And this drives me insane. I hate this cutting board. Twenty-three and the smidge. And this should be a scrap. And yeah. Is this even no? Oh shoot. up big time I think you see I cut it off by hand to make this fit in the machine and then I didn't look what side I cut so this should have been the piece that went out this way and this should have been the nice piece make it perfect but that, I didn't do that so now I have a crooked side a crooked side there and I might just pull a sliver off of that actually this side is the bad side yeah I don't know if that matters, but I'm gonna try to adjust it. I think this is gonna be hard. Yeah, this cutter does not like slivers. Anyways, this is the right side. Uh, what did I say? 14. Let's hope my math was correct on this. I actually don't know. Is this 14? Yeah. And. So, if I've done this correct, this should fit over here, kind of well. Yeah, I guess. And let's see. This is actually a little bit too big, so I was fine. I was fine. There we go. Two pieces, front and cover, front and back, I mean. Whew. That's that. So. Somewhat dry. Yeah, good, good, good. Good, good, good. Let's do the same on this side. So the idea is that I glue this down and then I attach this. 
And whoa, wait, what happened here? Is that supposed to be that way? Okay, yeah, it's fine. That's how I did it, so that's fine. There's a lot of trial and error with me when doing this. There we go. Glue, glue, glue. And this part doesn't have to be perfectly glued down, like every millimeter of the fabric. So we want to glue down pretty good. So this doesn't come loose underneath the paper. That would suck. So as per usual, I'm gonna over glue. Even if I know I don't have to. So pull this down, pull it into the thing. Yes, good, good, good. And then there's this. This will sit somewhere in between all this. I could actually have made this bigger now when I look at it, but that's fine. I think I'm just gonna attach this and be done with it. Honestly. There's not much more to do about this. If I wanted to, I could edge, uh, ink the edges to not show these ed edges when it's down. But I think that will solve itself you know, when I use it, actually. Still recording? Yes. Uh -huh. I've just, I've noticed this video is over an hour long now, but I didn't mention this at the beginning because I haven't thought of it at the beginning. But this is, you're probably watching in part two right now, if I can make that happen. I'll, otherwise, I might try to add some chapters, perhaps, if I didn't manage to cut it into two parts. I don't know. I'm not the best at editing. The goal is to not edit as much as I did on the other one, on the other videos. I want to have this kind of pure. Oh, 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 this is messy. Part of why I hate this glue. I mean, the glue itself is great. Can say it enough but the bottle and the design of the thing is horrible but here we are now this is glued or and i hope it hasn't dried yet it took so long uh, attaching this thing if you're not used to doing it it could be good to use a glue that dries slower if you're not when you're not used to this because it can be hard to make this straight or you can't probably see where I am at the moment if I put you back a bit it might fit in 
like get this line matching with this line can be a bit difficult i know that but um, I'm, i've done this several times now so for me it's quite easy just gotta learn how to hold the paper when you put it down I don't know it's hard to explain but easy it's quite easy once you've done it once or twice and this wallpaper is nice yes. the good thing about leaving an edge around is that this corner might not get caught when you grab the book as much at least that's my thought about it how true that is i don't know okay next page and i know you might not see the edge of the paper right now but i'm sure you can figure out what i'm doing If you're watching and you like what I'm doing, I would really like if you would leave a comment. Just say maybe hi or you know something. It would be nice. To know that there are actual people who is watching, not just some robots. So I think there might be robots watching. I don't know. Hired by Google. Some glue oozing out, but that's fine. At least you know you have enough. Oh. I only have a kitchen chair. Uh, kitchen, is it called chair? Yeah. Uh, at my craft desk. It's hard. Back hurts. No, after an hour sitting here. We have the like the cushion that you can put on top of the chair but I think that's annoying it's kind of it moves around and I don't know it's annoying so I removed it from this chair that's the one the ones in the kitchen we still have the cushion on but for this one I thought it was annoying because without without it and I sit down I can like slide over and move around easier twist twist around and grab stuff behind me without it being there actually when I look at this now I can see that the signatures is a bit crooked it's, uh, between this line and this the signature is closer here than here but that is fine nothing to worry about <laughs> So this is the journal, as, as of right now. And I know they look kind of boring uh, when they are new. But this has been a success. So things to point out that these will need to be tucked in or cut off or adjusted in some way I haven't decided how yet but uh, when we look on it at the from the top we can see that there's much space between the signature 
top and the cover top. And that's fine. Because we might want to add stuff that sticks out a bit uh, from the paper. And then it might not stick out as much from the book itself. So you can still put it in a bookshelf or something without it being all crazy on the top. So that's good. I don't mind that. And at the bottom, oh sorry. At the bottom, it's kind of flush almost. And that's great. I like that. Because that's usually how I do it. Uh, because you want it probably standing. And uh, so I usually end up putting things closer to the bottom. Uh, and then when I use it, I know that I don't go outside at the bottom, but I can stick out on the top and on the sides, but not the bottom. That's usually how I do it. So here's the journal. And you can see there's a lot of space here. But that's fine because when we start to add stuff to this journal, it will get bulkier. And eventually the pages will take up more space and all that. So it will be fine. It's meant to be like this. And it's same in the middle. We need this space for to allow the book to grow with images and stuff. So that's the, the whole point with it being space here for it to grow. Because if you put the signatures too tight and you start to add stuff eventually you can't close it like this is already at this stage and this is not even with stuff in it because I don't know fabric is pulling on it and stuff but I could add a closure if I wanted to that's like not that's an option if I want to I could add that but I don't want one <sighs> I think they're boring. Well, not boring. They add like a nice touch, but they're annoying to use. Was what I was gonna say. But this is the journal, and these are the strings that we could attach stuff to if we wanted to. I'm gonna decide. I might tie bow and cut them off. And we could also here. Uh, good. Since, since we have two signatures, there is space between them to add an uh, eyelet over here and then make a spine dangle that could fit. Oh, I'll put it over there. But that's that. So, this project to make the book is done. Uh, we might work in this together uh, I haven't decided yet actually but let's do a little flip through and I hope that I did it correct the second signature. I didn't even think about that. That's fun. I think this is a fun uh, detail.
the page. Ta-da! I usually don't add stuff on the back. I don't know why. Uh, that might be something I do when I use it, if it's my own journal, but I don't know. There's no, I don't see a need to put something on the back right now. But a spine dangle could be an option. Yeah. So this is it. Uh, yeah. I have not decided if I'm gonna do stuff in this on the on video. Maybe. We will see. I'll. You'll notice. Oh, I need to take a nap. Oh, I'm so tired. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, thanks for watching and please leave a comment and say hello. At least, if you're actually a human or whatever. That would be nice. And please subscribe if you like this content. I'll try to post more regularly. Now when my partner is back to work again. Well, thank you. Bye bye.